my advice to to you is is very simple, but it's very difficult. Um, again, it's simple, but it's difficult, and it's to get clarity. It's like, what do you want? What what do you want in your life? Like, what is the life that you ultimately want to live? What does it look like? And to take yourself through this process where you dig deeper and deeper and deeper in that. And keep asking yourself why. What does that look like? Why do I want that? And what does that specifically look at look, look like? And just get clear layer by layer by layer into what ultimately you want your life to look like and then design a path to get there. If your why is not big enough, your excuses will be. Like when you can get laser focused on, you know, I'm doing these things right now that I, you know that I don't necessarily want to do, but I need to do. When you can get clear on what that's leading you towards, like, oh, well, by doing this, I'm getting one step closer to this, which I really, really want. If you don't know what that thing is that you really, really want, then in those moments where it becomes difficult and in those moments when it becomes uncomfortable and in those moments when you don't necessarily feel like doing it, you're just not gonna do it. And so it really that's, you know, that's where for me it starts is what's the why behind me doing something. So the why behind the action, the why behind doing something on purpose. Dream board, vision board, whatever you want to call it. I think it has tremendous value. My wife and I did one at the beginning of this year, 2017. We did ours on a huge poster board. And if you walk into our master bathroom, you walk right in, you got the double sinks, and right in between them in the mirror, I have put up our vision board. So we look at it every single day. I look at it every single day uh, when I'm at home and I see these things that we want to do, places we want to go, um, different things we want to experience, different organizations we want to give to, different um, homes that we want to have like just everything it's just a dream board it's a vision board and so it's getting crystal clear on the end goal um, which you know you can look at that as your why uh, but it's really just like what do you want um, when that is super clear then everything else like we all find time for the things that are important and the reality is if you're not finding time for it it's just not important to you you can say it's important to you but your actions prove it and so there's so many people that that I see and they're like, you're like, man, you know, I really want, you know, this. I'm like, no, you don't. Like, what do you mean? Well, nothing that you're doing on a daily basis shows that you want that. Like, so you don't want it. So figuring out what it is that you actually want and then making sure that your actions are mapping that on a daily basis. Like that to me is, is critical. Uh, I think it's the only important thing is figuring out what actually makes you happy. And then building the lifestyle and figuring out the monetary side of what it takes to get that lifestyle where you're happy. Um, but I think that that comes just with that clarity of understanding what does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? Like what, what car is it? What house is it? What area of town? Like getting super, super specific uh, on all those things. Um, and I'm a big visualization person. And, and to me, it's, it's going through a process of really, really visualizing what you want. Um, also with gratitude, being grateful for those things that you don't have yet uh, as though they already exist.